Over the last 30 years or so, your typical laptop has contained a central processing unit and a graphics processing unit as its two main workhorses. But now, in 2024, that's all beginning to change with laptops like this that are introducing a brand new processing unit to get added to the mix. And so in today's video, we're going to talk about what this actually is, get our hands onto one of the first laptops that has it installed. This is the MSI Prestige 16 AI Evo, and ultimately try to figure out just how much of an actual difference this new technology makes in our day-to-day -day lives. So in addition to the CPU and GPU, Intel's new Meteor Lake processors now also contain an NPU, a neural processing unit. And as its name suggests, it specializes in handling neural networks, a task that up until this point has pretty much been a burden of the graphics card. But now the NPU takes this specialization an entire step further, essentially being tailor-made to execute the specific operations commonly used in deep learning algorithms. If it's not clear by now, these new Intel Core Ultra processors with the built-in NPU is 100% 100% Intel saying, you know what, we've seen deep learning, machine learning, and AI become so commonplace in everyday tasks that it's high time to dedicate an entire portion of the internal hardware to optimizing for these kind of tasks. And so on paper, laptops that include these new Intel chips like this MSI Prestige benefit from the integrated NPU in the form of AI performance, which really boils down to two things speed and power consumption. Now on the power consumption side of things, if we use the NPU inside of this laptop to train a convolutional neural network, what we find is that it ends up spending one eighth the amount of power than the same task in a laptop that instead is using Intel's integrated graphics from the previous generation. Meaning that the Core Ultra inside of this laptop is eight times more efficient. But remember that efficiency is pretty much only segmented in AI related tasks. So an NPU isn't going to magically make your laptop top eight times more efficient at every single thing, just really those AI specific tasks. And that really got me thinking, how common are these AI related tasks in our kind of normal everyday lives? Is it something we use multiple times a day? Or is it something that maybe is impactful like a couple times a month? Well, there's only one way to find out. So basically, I just use this computer every single day for like two weeks straight. Yeah. As a formal introduction, this is the MSI Prestige AI Evo. And as I mentioned earlier, it's also one of the very first laptops to actually ship with these new Intel Meteor Lake processors. This model specifically has the Intel Core Ultra 7 155H, and as you can see here, also includes an upgraded version of Intel Arc for integrated graphics, as well as the flashy new NPU, which is labeled here as an AI booster. Now, this laptop starts at around $1,400 and is very clearly focused on productivity and professional use cases. Now, MSI does make a version of this laptop that has a dedicated RTX 4060 in a model they call the Prestige AI Studio Evo, but the rest of this video will instead focus on this laptop that has the integrated ARC graphics. So after two weeks of using this laptop as my daily driver and also using it to edit an entire video, I made a list of every single time I used an AI-related feature, which on paper was serviced by the laptop's internal MPU. And it turns out I use a lot more AI-related features than I thought I did. First and foremost, as someone who makes videos, it turns out every single editing program heavily uses these AI features. For example, I use DaVinci Resolve to edit my videos every single day, and features that I use all the time like mapping depth or tracking faces or even relighting footage, these all heavily rely on deep learning and object recognition and all ran very smooth on this computer, likely thanks to all of that work being offloaded onto the NPU freeing up the GPU and CPU. Once or twice I did also find myself using the object removal tool in DaVinci, which probably is the most intensive AI feature that I use in the past two weeks, mainly because not only do you have to track an object, but for every single frame, you also have to generative fill what would be there if you remove the object. Certainly no simple task, but definitely one that heavily utilizes the NPU. All in all, I used these AI editing features 17 times in the past 14 days. Now, I also played a decent amount of video games on this laptop in the past 14 days. And while this is definitely not a gaming gaming laptop, mainly given the fact that its screen is maxed out at 60 hertz, a casual gaming on this was just fine. And actually, AI behavior in game is probably one of the best examples of offloading AI work to the MPU, freeing up the GPU to do things like render every polygon on every frame. And especially being on a laptop, even if that one part of the game is better optimized, well, that leads to less heat needing to be dissipated from the tiny shell. I also found myself in a bunch of Zoom meetings this week, which if you didn't know, every single time that like the background is blurred around your body, 
That's AI doing the heavy lifting. In fact, all of these filters and effects like being a robot heavily uses the NPU inside of this laptop. Look at that, I'm a pirate. Honestly, it's hard to tell that big of a difference on stuff like this because I kind of feel like most laptops can handle this kind of work okay. But it also just goes to show just how common these AI features are creeping into our lives without us really even thinking about them anymore. And I kind of feel like that was my takeaway from paying attention to this over the past two weeks is I already use a ton of these features all the time, whether deliberately or it's just a behind the scenes task. So it's making more and more sense to me that laptops like this MSI Prestige are only going to provide more and more value with these Meteor Lake processors as AI tasks become even more ubiquitous than they are right now. Honestly, I would love your thoughts on these NPUs and these laptops that are taking advantage of this new technology. Is it something that you would consider in your next laptop purchase? Personally, it feels inevitable to me that this is gonna show up in every single laptop forever now. And it's honestly just pretty exciting that we get our hands on one of the very first laptops to have it actually implemented. Okay, I'll stop being a pirate now. Now, aside from the fact that this laptop does have an NPU from the Core Ultra 7, it also does have quite a bit else going for it. As I've mentioned earlier, this is really cementing itself in the professional and productivity space. It's made out of this magnesium aluminum alloy that ends up looking pretty sleek, but also lets the 16-inch laptop weigh just over three pounds. And honestly, I'm still getting used to how light it is every time I pick it up. Plus, I've I put this entire thing through a military grade laptop durability test, which it passed in flying colors. And I would replicate some of these tests for this video, but I do have to send this laptop back after I'm done filming. But hey, let me know if you want to see me perform a drop test, shock test, or underwater test, or other durability test for any other electronics in the future. It actually sounds pretty fun to do. Now, this laptop also has an Ultra HD OLED panel, which is super nice to look at, with really the only downside of it being that the refresh rate is locked at 60 hertz max. This again is just MSI clearly focused on the Prestige AI lineup being more productivity focused. But remember, your games will benefit from the NPU optimizing computer AI. But if you're looking for a true gaming laptop, this one isn't quite it. Although, like I said, casual gaming on it, perfectly fine. Connectivity wise, it's great to see laptops with a dedicated HDMI port as well as a full size SD card slot. I love that. Here we also have a dedicated Ethernet port, despite the fact that this laptop is also capable of Wi-Fi 7's pretty ridiculous speeds. On top of that, there's actually no ports on the left hand side. Most of them are in the back. Back here, you can find two Thunderbolt 4 ports, which you can use for fast charging, as well as an additional USB-A slot, which is always nice to have. The battery life on this thing has been pretty decent for me, lasting me on average over a day before needing to get plugged in. I also learned that, well, this laptop has a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery instead of a perfectly round, even 100 watt hour battery. And it turns out that is super intentional because you cannot bring a laptop on a plane that has over a 99.9 .9 watt hour battery. So with this laptop, you're safe to bring aboard onto the airplane because it is right underneath the legal flying limit. Another more interesting yet subtle feature is that in addition to these two microphones up top here by the camera, there's actually also a third mic down below low here by the keyboard as well, allowing for what MSI is calling an advanced video conference experience. Basically meaning that with three mics, it can do a much better job of differentiating your voice from all of the other background noise around you, making it easier to filter out and make your voice sound nicer. And now speaking of this bottom keyboard section, you might have noticed that this trackpad is a bit larger than most laptops. And initially, I actually didn't like how it sits almost directly underneath your left hand when you're typing, because you can feel it on your palm. But it turns out the trackpad is smart enough not to register the palm of your hand as an input. So in reality, you don't have to worry about unintentionally moving the mouse around when your hand is on the home row typing away. There's also some really interesting privacy features baked right in. There's this software tool called Tubi that comes with the laptop. And basically, so say for example, I'm out in public looking at my personal finances. And if you look over here at this indicator, that actually tells me that someone behind me is looking at my screen. And if we turn around, yeah, they were right. I'm not sure if these features are quite worth the added battery train, but they are pretty clever from like a tech perspective. But you know what? Overall, I'm really starting to like this new direction that laptops are headed into, where it's really optimizing for the tasks that are going to be even more useful in the future. So if you personally are looking to try out one of these new Intel Core Ultra processor laptops, I'll leave a link for the MSI Prestige 16 AI Evo in the description down below. You should check it out. I've personally enjoyed using it over the past couple weeks. I would really like it to have a 120 hertz display, but at the end of the day, it's light, it's cool, and it's powerful enough to handle everything I threw at it for a 14 week period. That's all I got for you today. As always, I've been Mr. Easter, your tech tinkerer. Big thank you to MSI for sending out this laptop and sponsoring this video. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.